What's going on guys, it's Shu here bringing you a, another review on um, Days with my stepsister. It's been a few days um, behind, I apologize. I've uh, been busy this weekend, uh, very fun weekend, but back to the action, uh, back to the regularly scheduled program. But I gotta say, this episode in itself wasn't all that great. Honestly, very, very chill though. Uh, the theme here is gonna continue the same. We see slow progression uh, after that surprising buildup, honestly, of last episode. Uh, I mean, that was really good. I thought it was nice. I liked it. But here we see that some time has passed. It's been about a few months since they've been living together. And Saki and Yuta are getting along, uh, I guess, a little bit better. The exchange... Uh, numbers and whatnot, but we see that for the main focus of this episode, we see that Yuta is asked to help Ayase uh, with her studying. We see that she's not very good at literature, uh, it's not one of her best subjects, and she asks him for help. He tries to help her with it when he can, and through their initial studying, they actually start having a conversation about one of the authors of the book that she's looking into and they kind of come across the conversation about love and the feeling of love and neither one of them really have a defined answer as each of them don't have an experience they can kind of fall back on or kind of have a recollection of this feeling and so it becomes a bit difficult but we see Utah still continues to want to try to help and so he says he's going to try to find other methods that could possibly help her with her studying. And so we actually have him having a conversation with Maya, um, Saki's friend. And she actually, you know, is kind of intrigued as the reason why that he's asking for this. But she also notices that he's trying to be a good brother, which is awesome, you know, good for her. For joking a little bit, but at the same time recognizing that this guy genuinely wants to help and so uh, we see that she kind of gives him a few advice you know and possibly putting like music in the background and we see that this is actually something that was kind of helpful and he then even asks you know his co-worker where you know maybe she can help provide maybe some kind of guidance with that and he, of course he didn't know what to think of music wise and then for, a, a, I want to say maybe two, three minutes of this episode, it kind of turns into a lo-fi episode because a, a lo-fi YouTube clip, essentially, because we're hearing music that's lo-fi. And I will say it was relaxing to hear because it felt like an AMV uh, lo-fi kind of scenery kind of thing where we were seeing some images as the, the uh, music was playing. It was nice. I actually really liked it. And then when it came down to actually going back home to Saki and talking about it, she says, you know, you know, it's very soothing. I think I'll give this a shot. And she says, thank you. But she also is wondering about, you know, who he had been talking to. It, to me, it almost feels like there was a little sense of jealousy or at least some concern on her part as to why he was searching for it. But she is thankful nonetheless for him taking the time and trying to figure out, you know, what other methods can be help, you know, could help her out, or in this case, music, you know, what kind of music to, to listen to that can aid her in her studying. So it was, a, like I said, a very chill episode. Hopefully, you know, with all this, maybe Saki has better grades. But that is it for me, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you guys have, leave a like, comment, and below your thoughts. And as always, stay safe, and I'll catch you all later.